Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Men need to be smart with their relationships. Now this is very important. Now understand something with what I do, at least on this channel. Of course, uh, it's about man gets woman, but also about sovereignty. And it's all connected and stuff. So one of the main things for a man's sovereignty, he needs to be smart in how he deals with women. One of the things I'm telling men, and I'm trying to build, I'm working to build, and I've had some successes, is a man who can exercise his options. Like someone might mistakenly think I'm telling men how to be players. Now, I will give some uh, stuff about players, but that's for just men to use those skills because obviously they're successful with women. They have options. Now, of course, most men actually just want that good quality woman, that woman who's uh, cooperative, who's attractive, who's feminine and all of that. OK, OK. All right. So that's the main thing. But one of the main things, just period, is being smart with your relationships, being smart. Because one of the saddest things I've seen in life is a man who gets a woman and she's attractive, not like physically attractive, you know, she got she got the big breast scissors or nice breast scissors, big old butt dunk or nice butt dunk, nice legs, face, all of that stuff. That woman's giving him hell. I've lost track of how many men I've known who've been set back simply because they did got with the wrong woman or talking about well she got a fat ass though no woman's giving them hell i've known men who've had women steal from them definitely the cheating definitely the cheating definitely there are some women there are some women who will get a man see he doing something and because quite frankly they just have a dislike for men. It could be numerous reasons why they do, or they just a straight up demon lover who are destroying some men, who are destroying some men. But she got a fat ass though. See, a man got to be smart in his relationships. I've talked about this before. I've talked about this several times, but I always get new, new people and everything. And I know I always had to tell people, hey, just go through my archives <laughs> for everything. I've covered everything, but I got this is an important one because I've never failed to see. I, I see this to this day. A man just get the wrong woman. And then like he could be a man. He building up his sovereignty. He's building up his business. He's on his mission. But he get that fine woman that come in and stuff. In fact, on the surface, she's cooperative, got the body and everything. And then all of a sudden he just slowed down. In fact, he started changing up. In fact, he's he was going one place. He's like, wait a minute, there's been some changes in this dude and stuff. All of a sudden that, that mission go by the wayside. And then when you get the negative women, the women on that demon lover thing, you know, they'd just be like, you know, they'll move on to the next victim. And the dude will be like someplace, shoot. He might have his money, his bank account emptied or he just messed up emotionally and stuff. He talking with his buddies or therapists in most cases. Unfortunately, he might be talking behind a jail cell and then he'd be like, she had a fat ass though. Look, let me then I'm being totally serious. I'm throwing a fat ass thing in there, you know, break it up, but break up the uh, seriousness and stuff. Give you a little laugh, but that's actually some real stuff. Look, a man has to ask himself, what is this woman doing for me? Is she an asset or a liability? Ironically, a player, a very financially successful player said that to me. And I'll never forget that. That's why I say sometimes what players know, you know, get the knowledge. You don't have to do what they do, but get the knowledge. They got insight into women. And he said, is she an asset or a liability? People who follow me a long time, men who follow me a long time, know I've always talked about that. Is that woman an asset to you? Like, what is she bringing? You know, let's get past her body. One of the mistakes men make is they don't get past her physicality. And indeed, many men think that's all she needs to bring. You know, she's attractive and stuff. That's all she needs to bring. I'll take care of the rest. Oh, no, no, no. You know, 
yeah, you we like the attractiveness because everybody likes the attractiveness. That's good. You know, I like a big old butt dunk, nice butt dunk and everything. All right, she got a nice butt dunk. What's she talking about? You know, how is she going to help me with what I'm doing? You know, that's one thing when I'm dealing with a woman, I'm like, OK, I'm doing this stuff. I'm doing this online stuff, got other stuff about the about the drop, you know, got I got on my wall. I got a list of projects that I need to get started on. I haven't been able to do yet yet. I got a list of things. OK, if I'm dealing with a woman, how is she helping in that in that uh, drive? How is she helping? Is she bringing me some peace? Is she enhancing it? Is she actually helping with the business? You know, what is she doing to help? You know, what is she bringing? At the minimum, she need to be bringing peace, not sex. You can, let's just be real. You can get sex almost any place. If you develop yourself, you can get sex. And indeed, some men may pay for it. Okay, I'm not for that, but hey, some men will do that. All right, fine. So you can get sex. Can you get that woman who is going to be helpful and stuff? Even if it's just a sex, even in a, just a purely sexual relationship. Let me let me go over that. Some guys say, well, I just want to hit the skins. All right. Do you how do you feel after you hit the skins? Do you feel like going out there and doing that work and everything? If you do. OK, that's cool. Is it a peaceful hit the skins? And what I mean by peaceful, is she peaceful to you? Or she bringing drama because if she you hitting the skins, but she bringing drama, what good is that? Because instead of working on what you're supposed to be working on, you you worried about this drama. You know, what if it's a situation where you actually need to park your car away from where you live or something? Or what if it's a situation where you might need to live in a building with some security? There's been a couple of times. There's been a couple of times. When I was living in this high rise apartment building in uh, DC, that I've had someone banging on the door. I've had someone banging on the door. And I'm just like, what? what? And I was actually too tired to get up both times. I was like, yeah, I did get go ahead and bang. Oh, man. But, you know, do you need that drop? In fact, there was one time some dude came knocking on my door. He was dealing with an ex girlfriend. We and him about to get in a fight. But then I say, hold up, come on in. I gave him a beer, I say, hold up. Why we about to fight, get in trouble. She probably with the third dude. But at that point, he needed to question who he was dealing with. He needed to question and stuff. And see, you know, she was an ex for a reason, because I saw, okay, she was good at first, but okay, she doing some problematic things. All right. You got to think that even for casual relationships and definitely, definitely, if you're talking about uh, her being your girlfriend and definitely your wife. Let me talk about the girlfriend thing. Let's just be real. Girlfriend, that's usually the fun and all of that. Are you going someplace like if you with her for six months, say you with her for six months? What um, how have you advanced in six months? Ask yourself that simple question. Have you advanced in six months or are you regressing? Have you finished the projects you were working on? Or have you advanced and you going to work, you feeling better? What has she brought that's better, made you better? What has she brought? All right. And then taking it to the next level, wife, you talking to hey, that's a serious consequence if things don't work out. Most men, most men paying something if that doesn't go right. And then if she's your wife, that's business too. That's business too. Just think about it. It ain't just the sex. Y'all just having fun. Y'all living in a home together. Y'all gotta pay bills. Y'all gotta manage the income. You gotta look at this. Do you have a wealth consciousness while she has a poverty consciousness? That hey, that's significant. I've talked about that. That's one of the few times I talked about relationships on my money channel. Are uh, y'all do y'all have the same consciousness? That's a big thing. People need to understand that, hey, you got this idea for business and you know, you saving your money and stuff. She wants to spend money. You got to ask yourself that. And that's, I don't care, even if it's for sex, you got just even casual. You got to ask yourself, OK, what's she bringing? Like I said, if you really want to be honest, sex is easy to get itself. It's only only issue is how you do it. So if you have sex with it, what's she bringing? You know, a lot of women don't like it when uh, you say when the man says, well, what you bring to the table? But. 
If the man has built the table, he has built the home, he's built the table, he got the chairs there, he got the food on the table and stuff. He provided all of this stuff. What is the woman bringing? Man, that's totally fair. I tell women that. What is it? You can't just go in there and just ride along because unfortunately you got some women, they want you to do all this stuff. They want you to have that money, want you to be in shape, want you to be handsome, want you to be all this stuff. And then they think they can just ride along. Now you gotta ask yourself, well, honey, uh, what are you doing? I did all this work. What you come? I, no, you gotta add to it. <laughs> what are you adding to? You gotta add something to it and stuff. You gotta enhance it or something. If a man gets a house, a woman needs to come in and make it a home. But you get some men who got the house, the woman coming in there, she wanna sit there and chill and actually think they can. No, no, no. We, we, we that's not happening. And men have to be smart with it. Men have to be smart. Too many men getting caught up with a bad woman because she had a fat ass. And I'm, I'm dead serious on that. I said it jokingly earlier, but I mean it now. Seriously, if you ask men why they dealing with that woman, she had a fat ass. Now, let me be clear. I'm not saying go out and get some average looking woman or some even some ugly woman because they can have the same bullshit. What I'm saying is regardless of what the woman look like, what is she bringing? How is she enhancing your, uh, your life? Is she making it better or is she a distraction? Is she an asset or a liability? Men have to be smart in their relationships. I want y'all to, men seriously think about this, your life, man. This is your life. You can't be playing around, all right? The main thing, the main relationship a man has is with his self and his mission in life. You know, his operation. He need to make sure that woman is in cooperation to his operation and stuff. She's enhancing it. Her presence need to be making it better, not worse. Be smart in your relationships. All right. So that's all I have for today, y'all. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.